This video will show you how to subgroup an analysis based on study-centric data by covariance. Uh, so this type of subgrouping is only possible when you have uh, one set of category for the covariate per study. Uh, but let's look at this um, analysis and try to see if we can find an interesting subgroup. It, it seems like we could look at um, dropouts for this analysis. Um, and what we first need to do is to define the covariates in the PICO. So because we want to subgroup by whether uh, this study had dropouts or not, we can add the covariate, give it the name dropouts, um, and then we can uh, type the categories, so no dropouts, or uh, dropouts present. Uh, so these are review level covariates that we've now set up and uh, we can now go into the included studies to see uh, whether or not there were any dropouts because that's actually information that's very commonly described in the characteristics. So what we'll do is that we'll go look at the characteristics, look at the participant field and see that here there were no dropouts. So we can then go to the covariate tab uh, for Hearn and then we can say no dropouts. Um, and then we can move to the next study. Uh, we look at the participants and see again no dropouts. So we set no dropouts and then we study. We can see here that there were 26 dropouts. So we say dropouts present and we go to the next study. We can see dropouts not mentioned. So this would be a definition question that you could describe in the PICO uh, covariate. Uh, for now we'll say that this means uh, no dropouts. So we'll just go through the studies. Uh, and here it says no dropouts again. The next study. Look at the participants again, and here we had nine dropouts. So we say dropouts. And as you see, that were was all studies, and um, now we can try to create a new analysis. So we already have this one. Uh, and uh, we basically want to make, create the same analysis uh, with the same synthesis PICO, um, but we want to subgroup that analysis. So I'm adding a new one. Of course, I'm choosing study data because that's what we're creating this analysis on in study centric data. I'm choosing the same outcome, so persistent symptoms. Uh, and we have anti-versus placebo. What we can now do is we choose the subgroup factor uh, by covariate and that's drop out. And we give it a name, so we call it persistent symptoms after seven days. Maybe we call it subgrouped to be able to um, 
identify it. And now that we've chosen and set up this and this is Pico, we can click on the graph. And we see that it's the same studies that are included, but they are now subgrouped by whether or not there were dropouts. So now we know how to subgroups by covariates using study-centric data. Thanks for listening.